Good morning, beautiful, soulfully aligned women. How are you doing? Uh, it is a rainy, rainy day, a good day to be in the studio today. And I thought I would pop in uh, and just say hello. And I really wanted to come in and let everyone know that today is the last day before we begin our new round of the Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic Program. So if you've been thinking about it, I'm here just to say, come, come, what are you waiting for? This is such an amazing transformational journey. And I want to show you uh, some of the paintings that have come from this journey. Um, <laughs> Ah, Ellie, no. Shh. So every month is a new kind of topic, a new focus that we have within this nine month journey. And every month I get to paint with you. And I love that. And the stuff that comes out for us, creativity truly is the gateway to more. And so let me just show you. Okay, so I'm working on my Heart Warrior here. She's not quite done and I got a few tweaks to do and add some beautiful light and glowing feathers and that sort of thing. Look at these beautiful women gathering. I love this painting and how it's turning out. So these are a beautiful priestesses coming from the mystic energy and gathering around the water. And I had another beautiful warrior uh, woman painting that I was working on. There's my... Um, you know, women gathering in the teepee. When women gather, energy radiates. There we go, and that's what that's about. And these are just some of them, and in behind, uh, there's like in behind over here, there's my, uh, whoops, winter solstice. I wanna knock everything over from last year. I love her. Oopsies, now everything's falling. And of course, in behind my warrior is women who run with wolves. These paintings have all come from gathering with the women in my group. And I am so, so filled up with gratitude for this group of women. And this is, this, we've gone through two rounds now, each group incredibly special and powerful in their own and we are connecting the groups are connecting together we have created connections beautiful golden networks of love of sisterhood of support with each other i was able to go and see one of the women in my groups down in california this summer and stop in at her house and see her space and just sit and have a coffee with her and uh, it felt like coming home we need each other and this network of connections that we are creating is so incredibly beautiful and you can hear that from the testimonials that have been coming through and these beautiful testimonials have just come through when we gather they start expressing what's in their heart I did not ask them to do a testimonial they are just expressing this and I am so full of gratitude for that so if you haven't seen those testimonial videos be sure to listen the, there's one I just posted in here yesterday um, but those connections are what we need right now. We are spread out around the world for a reason. There's a reason why we are there. And we are like little lamps lighting up that area, that space. And it's hard to maintain that sometimes on your own. And so having these beautiful women that we're connected with, that we can reach out to at any point. I could call any of them in a moment and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think? Or I'm struggling today. Can you, can you connect with me? Can we do a Zoom? 
and we do and we are connecting by having retreats together and offering that out to everyone we are connecting in our business one of the women traveled like seven hours to go to the other woman's painting workshop like how beautiful is that so beautiful so these friendships that is the core of this creative mystic certification program that is what has come out of it you know i thought when i started this i thought okay what my vision was you know we come together we deepen into our soul we get stronger in our own inner empowerment and then we get to take that out to the world to wherever we are and shine our light and know what our gifts are what our purpose is how to bring that out to the world and be able to stand in that power stand in that light that is exactly what's happened but even more so even more beautiful that i didn't expect was the power of these connections so if you want to join into this beautiful sisterhood that we are creating this beautiful connection of powerful women who know why they're here who are determined that we are standing in our light that we are powerful creators that we hold the potential of light of visions for the world like this is what we're doing and I am so thrilled to see that not just my groups not just my certification program is out there making change in the world but this sort of thing is happening all over the world women are rising up and connecting with each other remembering their power healing within them healing the things that are standing in their way the old witch wounds the old hurts the old beliefs the old ancestral patterns are getting healed and we are radiating out this, sorry <laughs> this is what is going to change our world and you know that's a big vision to be saying i'm going to change the world it's like no you come in for you first come here jack you're okay you come in for you first you come in for you and and strengthening and healing and empowerment and you know the creative flow you come in for your peace for your soul alignment and then as you do that as you stand in your inner empowerment as you love yourself more everything around you reflects what's going on inside of you so this begins to ripple out and change for the the world around you for your loved ones for you know healing those old old family patterns this is where we begin and if you are a mom or a grandma you are the hub of your wheel and what what you fix inside of you fix not fix you're not broken that was the wrong word what you heal and bring more light into that it serves our family it serves our friends it serves our colleagues it serves the world and you know women are the ones that are going to change the world women are the ones that are going to call in the balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine as we rise in that divine feminine energy we are calling our divine masculine in also and that is not gender specific but it could be it could be calling our men in to say let's heal the divine feminine within you and empower that divine masculine let's heal that within ourselves because we too many of us have been standing in our divine masculine sorry not our divine masculine our wounded masculine and leading from there because we have been taught that the way to be in this world the way to make things work is to be in your masculine to to go 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 to create lists to take charge to you know tell people what to do to be the boss when really what we need to do is lean into divine feminine 
and lead from there, lead from our heart, lead from love. And that is softness, but it is also empowerment. It is also strength, fierce strength. Divine feminine can be very strong and fierce. Just call in Callie. Some of those dark goddess, beautiful energies that come in and clear the way for you to move forward. When you get to the bottom of, you know, where you're at and you just can't take it anymore. That's what we talked about in our heart warrior goddess. This is the beautiful goddess that says, no more. I am not doing this anymore. This is it. This is the end of the road. Change is happening now because I've reached the end and I've been pushed up against the wall too hard and now I'm pushing back and I'm like, no, this this is gonna change. That's our heart warrior goddess coming out. That's that dark goddess. She's not really dark, she's beautiful, she's divine. The goddesses that can come in and say, I am clearing space out of love for you in your life. It is time for you. It is time for you to take care of you first because you cannot go on depleting your bucket. You cannot go on in the masculine patriarch way. It is time for the world to change. <laughs> okay, I didn't know all that was coming through for you today, but that's where we are at. And I just want to say, reach out to me we can connect, we can have a Zoom if you wanna talk, or just come and join us. We are beginning tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. We are gathering together for our first module and to create our schedule that works for everyone. We will be meeting next week on the day that we decide works for everyone, at the time that works for everyone, and you will get, um, a calendar of schedule calendar for from me for every day that we are going to meet for the next nine months with the topics that we're going to be working on this program comes with beautiful modules that you can print off that have channelings within them guidance themes to focus on as well as creative activities journal prompts prayers mantras everything that you need to go deeper and deeper into your soul, into your unshakable power. I hope you will consider joining us. I love you guys, and I will see you later. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.